Hi! 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 Welcome to our channel. Hello. Hello. If you enjoy learning about reptiles and having a good laugh, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Hit. Smash it. Yes. Smash yes. it. Smash it right now. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Hit. Mass. Smash it. Mass. Okay. Mass. That's a bug. Avery's here playing with cards from Cockroach Poker. It's one of the best little games you can play with cards. Check it out. And guess who else is here? Charlie. Charlie's here and he's playing a spirit. Wait. Hi everyone, my name is Charlie. Charlie. How are you? Human hides can be important for snakes, they can be important for geckos. So today I'm gonna to be setting up some human hides for... For the geckos? You can do the same kind of hides for all of them or do they have to have something different? Uh, a bigger one gets a bigger hide and a smaller one gets a smaller hide. Mind blown. They come with me now into the kitchen. We're gonna show you what to do when you need to make a humid hide. All right, great. So I'm looking forward to this. Charlie's excited. So, you, like, if Charlie's excited, you all have to be excited. Join my Twitch. Reese is here watching us. You yeah, can join yeah. him too. Yeah. Hair and snakes. Yes. Or is it snakes and hair? Today it's snakes. I think it's hair and snakes. Hair and snakes. Yeah, hair and snakes. Before we get started, I'm gonna have to do some dishes. So you show me how to do them properly. Yes, my soap of choice is the Blue Dove soap because apparently it's soft and gentle, and it's what they use to remove oil from the ducks when ducks have oil on them. Ducks shouldn't have oil on them, so we should stop dumping oil in the water or garbage or whatever we're doing, and start taking better care of our animals. And do this by not being wasteful. Don't use paper utensils and cups and all that stuff. See, we use real dishes and real spoons and that way we're not trashing as much. What? What? Oh, see that? Avery, Avery has something to tell you. Avery, what did you do? What did you do, What, what did you do? What did you do? She made a poo. See, I got a clean poo also. And at this age, they're pretty big. <laughs> okay, we'll be back. Ooh. Okay, so some tools that I like to use. The soldering thing, I would have showed you how to do it, but it's better not to melt plastic in your home. So I went out on the balcony and it's cold. I didn't feel like going out there, but basically what I like to do is at the dollar store, you can get these little containers. See, three for three dollars, only a dollar each. That's value. So for that, you'll end up with three humid hides. So there's going to be one, two, and uh, I think that, and then three, but this one I'm not using right now. What you do is you melt a hole, and that's how you make a hole. Wonderful. Or you could take a drill, drill a hole, rub the drill around it, and make the hole bigger. I think you can do that, right? Yeah. Another tool that I like to have is a, uh, a dog toenail clipper or, or a cat toenail clipper. You can get these, I find, I've actually found them twice at Value Village, but it's got a little file. You could also use a Dremel, but I got this for like two bucks at Value Village. I love Value Village. Um, go into Human Hide when they need help shedding, and they also lay their eggs in here. For the Pictus geckos, I made a smaller one for the boy and a bigger one for the girl. Oh, this was like a a to-go container that had two sides. I cut it in half and made a little one for the boy and a big one for the girl. It has sharp edges. We don't want to put our animals in danger. So what you can do is you just file off the edges and then it goes from being all yucky nasty to beautiful and smooth. So if you just even look over here at this, this side over here, because it likes to focus on my face, it's all nice and smooth. And then this side over here is all yucky. So in a few seconds, you can just take a file, make it softer. Silky and smooth. 
silky and smooth. Who'd have ever thought of doing such things? Would you have thought of that, Charlie? No, I would never have thought of that. Most people wouldn't, and that's why it's so useful for you to subscribe to this channel. What are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! What I like to use inside my humid hides is cocoa choir. I've tried using vermiculite before. The geckos would eat the vermiculite, and we don't want our geckos eating the uh, substrate. I think that it has like a smell that they don't like because they don't they don't eat it. If anybody knows how to take these cocoa choir bricks apart nicely, see, I don't want to dump it all in water because I only need part of it. But um. It'd really be a pain in the butt to take these things apart. So humid hides are really important. Uh, here in Canada we don't always have the best humidity so the humid hide allows if you have snakes that are having problems shedding you make them a humid hide they go in it it'll help them shed. For geckos it gives them somewhere also to help them shed. Make sure that they have the right humidity, at least in a few places in their home. So I'm squeezing the water out of it before putting it into something else so that it's not too wet. First you basically gotta wet it all so that it absorbs the water and breaks up. You make these beautiful little hives. If any of you put springtails inside your humid hives, let me know. I wanna know what people have experienced with that. Now, so you see this little bit, put a bit of water in, and watch what this little bit turns into. So see that little bit made all of this. Our nice little humid hide. And what I like about these containers, they're clear. So once it all dries and stuff, it becomes more level. And when, uh, when my leopard geckos lay eggs, all, the, uh, all of it will be to one side, so that's how I know I should check for eggs. So I got a couple more humid hides for my geckos. These are perfect. And then for my Pictus geckos, I have this little one, and then a bigger one for the female. Look at that humidity. It's a humid hide. How beautiful.